Now in this video I want to go over bento terminology. There's some terms out there that will make it a little bit easier to work with. The first one being library. And we talked a little bit about it, but basically a library is your list. It's your to-do list, it's your recipe list, it's your library. Now each one of these libraries consists of different records. So a record is an individual item. Now I have my to-do library open here and I have planned vacation. I'm going to go to the first one here, pay telephone bill. Those are two different records. So again, think of your little list. And when you put something on that list, you're actually putting a record in it in Bento's world. So each record consists of different fields. So again, go to your simple to-do list there. And now what you have here is you have a due date. So I have my to-do item and my due date. And maybe I want to put a priority on there. In Bento's world, what you're doing is you're actually adding fields. So I have title here. That is one field. Project is another field. Assigned to is another field. Recipes. When I go to Mom's Apple Pie, that's one field. The description is another field. Preparation time is another field. So to break it down, we have libraries, which consists of your records, which consists of your fields. So now that we have our data in there, the next thing we want to look at is how do we view this data? That is forms. That's your window into your data. So a form is basically a window. So I'm going to go to my events here. Now on my dashboard, this is a form here. Basically I'm just looking at my data. On my dashboard I have all of the fields. So I'm looking at everything. Well maybe what I want to do is I just want to look at the attendees. I want to see who's attending this event. So I don't want to see all of the other data or all of the other fields in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another form. And that is up here. I'm just looking at the same data. I just don't have all of the other stuff. All I have here is guests and vendors down here at the bottom. So I just created another window into my data. It's another view. If I want to look at the dates and tasks, this is another form or another window. So now I'm just looking at the events and the tasks. So those are forms. The last thing is collections. Now a collection is basically just a saved search. So I'm in my event here and I want to look at everything that's in progress. So here I'm looking at all my events that are in progress. It's a saved search. Maybe what I want to do is I want to look at all of my events that are upcoming. There it is. Same thing with the to-do list. I could create a saved search that says here's all my high priority to-do lists. Or here's all of my errands that I have to do. Or here's all of my things that I have to do at home. So they're just basically saved searches. So let's just do a quick recap here. What we're looking at is five different things really. We're looking at libraries, which is your list, which consists of records, and the records contain fields. Then we have our forms, that's our windows into it, so how do we want, what do we want to view? And then finally we have collections, that's basically just a saved search. So those are the five key terms with Bento. Libraries, records, fields, forms and collections. Now there are some other key terms as well, but those are the big five. So let's go and take a look at the interface of Bento in the next video.